The FBI has confirmed Florida was the site of a terrorist attack in December. The military trainee who killed three sailors and wounded uh, eight others was working with Al Qaeda. Investigators found out when they finally got into the killer's phone and confirmed something that a local member of Congress says he always sus suspected. It was both a stunning announcement and a seemingly unsurprising revelation. This man involved in the December shooting that killed three and injured eight at Naval Air Station Pensacola, Mohammed al-Shamrani, had clear ties to terrorism. We followed that very closely when that happened. It was pretty much self-evident, and this was definitely a terrorist attack on our shores. Florida Congressman Ted Yoho says the news is not surprising to him. He's a member of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. It's not a revelation. I mean, we all suspected that. I mean, the postings he put, the videos he watched, the associations he had, the party he had watching ISIS videos right before he did this, it was all pretty much self-evident that this was a terrorist attack. The attorney general unveiled some of the details today. The FBI finally succeeded in unlocking al-Shamrani's phones. The phones contained information previously unknown to us that definitively establishes al-Shamrani's significant ties to al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, not only before the attack, but before he even arrived in the United States. FBI Director Christopher Ray says the evidence developed from the killer's devices show that the Pensacola attack was what Ray called the brutal culmination of years of planning and preparation by a longtime AQAP associate. And that stands for Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, one of the deadliest branches of the terror group. They claimed credit for the attack. Al Shamrani was a member of the Royal Saudi Air Force. He'd been training at Naval Air Station Pensacola and was killed by law enforcement during that attack.